Friends, today we are reading seven sentences, or really seven lines, because some of them have two sentences on the same line. When we have that word look, it's actually a sentence by itself because you're telling someone, you look, but we're just saying the word look. So seven lines we'll be reading. They're not related to one another though. So some of these words we will have to sound out and some we will have sight words for but that we'll remember. So the first time I'm gonna read this sentence slowly and then I'm gonna go back and read it again. That's what I recommend you do. Practice it, sounding it out, and then record yourself reading it right after you practice. Then press pause on your recording, practice sounding it out, and then record yourself reading a second time. So you can press pause after each time you practice. So it should go like this. Sam can not get the gas in the cab. Now you can press record if you were doing it by yourself and read it. Sam cannot get the gas in the cab. Then you could press pause again and you could practice your next sentence. Get the bat off the hot pan. Well, there's an exclamation point. So now when I press record, I would say it with more excitement. Get the bat off the hot pan. Then I could press pause again and I could practice my next sentence. Look, this cat bit my hip and ran. Now I could press record and, pr and read it. Look, this cat bit my hip and ran. Then I could press pause again and I could practice my next sentence. Dad hid this map in the big pit. Now that I've practiced, I could press record and read it. Dad hid this map in the big pit. Then I could press pause again and practice my next sentence. I can see Tom got mad at the cat. Ooh, at and cat, those are rhyming words. They both have at. Now I could press record and read it again. I can see Tom got mad at the cat. Then I'd press pause and I'd practice reading my last sentence. Look, this map got a big rip on it. Then I could press record and I could read it. Look, this map got a big rip on it. That's how I would do it if I were in kindergarten. I would press pause until I was ready to read it. I might practice a few times and then press record. And then when I was done, I would press pause and practice and press record when I was ready. You can press pause on Seesaw multiple times. It's not until you click done does the recording come to us. We, I hope this helps you. We're looking forward to hearing you read your sentences.